So when you ask people to do something, you might get uh, an obligatory response, which uh, might look, uh, for example, like uh, this. Have you ever seen polar bears? I see them everywhere in the world. Everywhere I go, there are people who don't want to be there. It's pretty obvious by their level one behavior. They're not paying attention. They're dragging their feet. They're going slowly. They really don't care. They may not look you in the eye. They don't pay attention. I see polar bears everywhere. People who feel obligated, who feel like they have to be at work. And uh, you might be saying, okay, yeah, that's the large proportion of people. Well, I'm like, yes. So are there ways that you could manage that in yourself and are there ways that you could manage that in the people that you work with? The opposite, of course, might look something like this. Rock, rock a party. this penguin is a lot more energy and enthusiasm. Uh, you could argue, yeah, okay, these are nice little YouTube clips and what's the big deal? On the other hand, I see the difference in organizations wherever I go. In fact, when you walk into an organization or a company, you can frequently tell pretty quickly the quality of leadership by the level of energy and enthusiasm and intensity that you feel with the people there. If uh, they tend to be more in an obligatory mindset like the polar bear, you can tell, well, maybe the service, the quality, the dependability, the organization, the leadership is not what it could be. So uh, you may have seen this in your own experience. I could show you some other clips uh, from YouTube, but you can find them. Uh, I invite you to look up one maybe called Monkey Dance, in which you'll see the chief executive of a large software company at the time using this kind of enthusiasm to try to influence the people around him.